up on ESPN. Green Bay, now. While the teams are out on the field getting loose, the fans are filing in and finding their seats for the game. My buddy, Peter O'Keefe, is right alongside me, as always, today. And, Peter, uh, we've got a real treat in store for us this day. We've got a premier quarterback facing off against a potent defensive backfield. That's absolutely right, Dan. Number 15 is a pocket-passing quarterback. His mobility isn't that great, but he's patient in the pocket and uses his strong arm to stretch the field. He's going to have his work cut out for him today, though. The Oilers have some cornerbacks with excellent coverage skills. They don't bite on weak fakes, so the pass had better be right on target if you plan to throw on Let me tell you, this is going to be a battle. Well, all right, Peter. We'll keep our eye on them as the game progresses, but first, the coin toss. It's tails. Number 34 kicking off the, the ref gets the signal and we're set. Chandler boots the opening kickoff. Taylor fields it all the way back at the four. Drag down at the 24. A nice day for football. And ESPN Susie Culver will tell us if it will stay that way. Susie? Thanks, Dan. It's a slightly breezy day today, but it probably isn't enough to affect picture throws that much. Dan? Susie, thank you. The Oilers get their offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 24-yard line. Four receivers line up as the defense settles into a nickel package. Number 26 goes in motion. Intercepted. Run down at the 37. Check out the interception here on the replay, Dan. Watch how he reacts to get in the ball's path. Nice. That's how you make the INT, baby. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Packers are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 37-yard line. Williams picks up the yard on the play, and that will bring up second down. Coverage incomplete. Number 15 zips it to the left sideline and it's tipped. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Webster swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting it. Well, the D holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Uh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Anderson lines up to punt after the three and out. Anderson gets the ball and punts it away. Taylor there catches it at the 11. The Oilers were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 12-yard line. Number 12 floats this one out to the right side. This was and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. Number 89 is just crazy good on this play, Dan. He refuses to be intimidated by triple coverage. I would have tried to throw somewhere else, I think. Oh, but it didn't matter. He made the catch. Great job. Peter, it's early in the game. It's the first time they go deep, and he makes the big completion. What does that do for a team's confidence? Well, then, obviously, it's a huge boost, but there's still a lot of game left. Number 25 has his 
his number called on first down and runs into traffic. Stopped at the 39. Second Number 28 goes in motion. Number 25 is choose up nine yards, and that brings up first down. The 25 sticks close to his blockers here. And it pays off. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. First down, 10 yards to go. Number 25 carries it for a third time in a row and chews up about four on the play. With the tackle. Second and six. Ball at the 48 yard line. Down! Please, please, please! Take back! Take back! Number 12 unloads this one to the left, and it's tipped! Incomplete! With the deflection. really comes to play on this baby. He makes the solid catch and then he takes off. Check it out. Give him an inch and he'll steal every yard he can. That's his first touchdown of the day. And, and I think he's a guy you can count on to make those end zone catches. He sets a high standard for himself and Number he usually six, meets seven, it. To attempt the extra point. point. Number, Number 15, hold holding. Hold. the point after and the extra point is good. good. There's the signal and we're ready. Number 67 kicks this one away. Number 86 fields the kickoff. Tackled at the 23. Number 86 was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Packers stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 23-yard line. Number 15 throws this on a rope, and it's incomplete. Number 51 shadowed the slant route back there and kept the receiver from making the catch. Incomplete pass. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Second down, one man down. Number 86 goes in motion. McGee drags the missile, and that will be good for a gain of eight. McGee had a defender close by, but was able to bring down the catch. A great job to move the ball and get themselves into a third and short situation. This is a critical play for this drive. Yeah, now Dan, they can just fall forward and make the play. Sounds easy for you, but we'll see. Number 15 puts his arm into this one, and they convert on third down. Let's get some penetration. Come on, they're running all over you. First and 10. ten. Ball the Down. 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 him behind the line at the 44. Floyd not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it too. Big hit for a loss. Peter, they put an end to that play well in the backfield, and they had a real good read on that. Yeah, it all starts with the guys up front, Dan, and then everybody follows. Second down coming up. 
Number 84 goes in motion. Number 15 zips it to the left sideline, and the ball was hot for a game of seven on the play. McGee had two guys on him on that play, but still managed to make the catch. They moved the ball, and that'll bring up third down. Well, Dan, we got an empty backfield, five receivers, and the defense is in their dime. Let's watch. Number 86. Oh, and they get the first on third and long. Number 15 dissected the double coverage with a pass that was prettier than a stadium full of cheerleaders. And Peter, general managers nowadays really love to find those tall receivers, don't they? And you saw why right there. That's the only way you can beat great coverage like that. Number 15 ropes this one to the end zone and it's tipped. Incomplete. Number 20 does a great job of reading the play and putting himself into position to tip the ball incomplete. It's worth a second look here. Oh, he's a quarterback's worst nightmare. That would have been a touchdown, but instead the defense comes up big and forced the incompletion. Way to second prevent the big in. play. It'll be oh, second yeah. down. Second down coming up on the 10th play of the drive. Complete. Number 84 dropped the ball so fast there you'd think it bit him on the thumb or something. That's two drops by one of the more sure-handed receivers in the game. Wow, it's not often you see him out of sync like this. Fleming goes in motion. Chandler has little trouble pooching this one through. Let's see it again. Yep, he knows that you aren't allowed to miss many of those in this league. Number 34. There's the signal, and we're ready. Chandler kicks it off. Taylor catches it back at the eight. The 27. Taylor got waylaid by the defense before he was able to put Munch on the run back. The Oilers' offense will start this drive at their own 27 yard line. Number 28 goes in motion. the call on first down and maybe picks up Second one eight, on the play. Number 12 throws a big rainbow there and it's complete for the first down and a whole lot more. First down, three wideouts in the game. Number 66 tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. Number 66 with the tackle. Number 25 will get stuck at the line, and that will bring up third down. Number 66 with the tackle. Number 89. Patch out to the left, and that's not enough. He's short of the marker. That will bring Number up fourth down. With the tack -tack. Robinson managed to take him down just before he got to the markers. That Number took some strength, three, three, Peter. You can't eight. plow him down the way uh, you can plow three, through three. a buffet line. <laughs> hey, uh, that depends on what you're serving. Prime rib, watch out. 
Number 43 gets the snap and punts it away. Catches it at the 12. Tackled at the 15. Long fielded the ball, and although he was dropped pretty quickly, that terrible kick gives him some good field position. The Packers have a long field ahead of them and start this drive back at their own 15-yard line. Number 86 goes in motion. Williams carries it for the third time and rambles for about five. Second and five. All the Packers for 20 yards. Number 15 throws it forward to the flat, and it got away from him a bit. Incomplete. Third down with a split backfield. And they get the first on third and. Ward is not happy with that call, and he's going to challenge it. Hey, we want to challenge. Houston's, Houston's challenging, challenging one of the player here in possession prior to their home. This is their right. first what challenge of the game, and okay. even if they lose right. this one, they still have one challenge left. Well, Dan, we've got to see if the receiver established possession before he lost the ball. Remember, he has to have full control of it. Well, it doesn't look like he had possession After there. Review, I call it an incompletion and overturn it. The receiver did not, did not have, have possession of the, of the ball prior, prior to fumble. Houston, Houston will not be charged. Will not be charged. Fourth, Fourth down. down. He likes the call, and you sort of have a feeling that he knew it all along. Anderson lines up Number deep in his own territory to punt it away. Number 87 to make the return. return. Anderson takes the snap and punts it away. Taylor fields the punt at the 39. The 45 brought down at the 40. Taylor has a nice return coming up here off this punt. Watch. It's impressive the way he can make the right choices to keep the run back going. You can't coach that. The Oilers start this drive in great field position at the 40-yard line. Number 12 dumps this one to the flat, and the reception is made for a pickup of maybe a yard. All right, what have you got? Okay, all right. Second down, nine yards to go. Number 28 grabs the fastball over the middle and is well past the markers for a first down. Number 28 plays this one perfectly, getting himself to the right place at the right time to make the catch. The defense should be embarrassed that they let this one get away. Yeah, Peter, they had him double covered, and they still couldn't get to the ball in time. He was just too good for them. Yeah, he's an incredible receiver. Nothing gets in his way. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they remove the chain. Great execution. Number 25 takes it off the toss and will lose about a yard here. Number 26 was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. That's his second tackle so far. And that'll do it for That's quarter a, yeah, number yeah, one. Cool. The Oilers are out in front, 7-3. Number 
66. Makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Number 66 managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third down, one man down. Shut down the ball carrier just before he got to the markers. A good game, but not good enough. They gave up some yardage there, but managed to keep them from converting. And that's the magic word here. I think the defense won this round. Fourth down coming up. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Number 67 kicks it from 32 yards, puts it straight through the uprights, and good. It's the field goal, but watch how close the ball gets to the upright. Man, a few more inches and he'd have made the highlight reel. Not the way he would have wanted to, though. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number 67 rockets this one deep. Long downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Packers' offense is now on the field, and except for a few big plays, they really can't be happy with their passing game up to this point. We'll see what they call on this drive as they start at their own 20-yard line. Williams picks up about two, and that brings up second down. Second down. Number 15 fires this one over the middle and it's tipped incomplete. Number 51 got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. It'll be fourth down. Number 29 got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. Well, the knee holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That yeah, was a good call like by the defensive call. coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Anderson lines up to punt after the three and out. Anderson takes the long snap and punts it away. Taylor takes it at the 35. Tackled at the 39. Taylor didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Oilers offense takes the field and they will start out at their 39-yard line. We'll take this one off the toss and rambles for about five. And Peter, this is just a great individual effort to slip this tackle right here. Yeah, and it sounds funny to say this, but sometimes it's good to run with a bit of fear in you. You know, when you're afraid to go down, you can find your way out of tackles like that. Number 25 gets the ball down and gets past the line. Stop at the 46. Number 89 with the tackle. Third down from the on. They couldn't connect on this one. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. I'm talking about, baby. I'm bringing it. I'm bringing it. Yeah. I told you. Number 43 gets ready to punt this away. Number 80 to make the return. 
Number 43 takes the snap and punts it away. The Packers have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their own 20-yard line. Williams gets the ball at the head's left. Tackle at the 24. Second down, both wideouts to the right. His number called on second down and gains about three yards. Okay, bro, we went over to all these things, right? Now we're gonna get it. Now we're gonna go just like we did. We're gonna execute, and we're gonna stay strong, and we're gonna get to the spot we need to. Okay, fellas? Number 43 shows why you think twice before throwing a pass in his neighborhood. Watch. Great presence of mind to try for the football there. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like that. The Oilers will start this drive all the way down at the 16-yard line. Number 12 sings it to the right side, and it is not reeled in, incomplete. Number 26 could have had a nice run up the sidelines on that one, but didn't make the catch. That's incomplete. Potential for a quick first down, but no, they cannot hook up the pass. You can take a shot in that situation, and it's really not going to hurt you. That's a good call. That'll bring up second down. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Number 21 tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Number 21 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That is their fourth batted ball. Tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. We'll see if they can keep it up, though. Number 12 throws a heater and it's off. Incomplete. Number 26. Number that one come right to him the back there. You have to catch those passes, baby. That's the third incompletion his way, Peter. Yeah, and he's starting to look a little frustrated down there, too. Fourth down, 10 yards to go. Number 15. Number 67. Kicks it from 33 yards. It's up to the goal post. Good. Handled this high snap perfectly. Sets up the ball. There's the kick, and it's good. Three points. They'll take the three points, but they were hoping for seven. But that's the second time today they get close, only to have to bring in the kicker. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number 67 kicks it off. Long fields the kickoff at the three. <laughs> the 28. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. The Packers' offense has to score here. This drive will start at their own 28-yard line. Williams loses about three, and that will bring up second down. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. 
As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Second and 12. Ball to the Packers, 25 yard line. Number 86 goes in motion. Number 15 zings it to the right side and it's tipped incomplete. Number 15 is really struggling out there today. As you can see by the numbers, it's all bad. Up to now, he's got 69 yards and one interception. Down, empty backfield. Number 86 makes the nice catch and is at the 30, 15, five, touchdown. Number 86 has hands to make the catch, but he's also got legs. Watch. There's the grab, and now the run. It's all about desire, baby. How bad do you want it? He gets the TD and a little congratulations from his teammates. It's well-deserved, Dan. Number 34. Look, Dan, great receiving point. yards there. That will Number help your fantasy team. Here's the extra point, the extra and point it's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Chandler kicks this one away. Taylor catches it back at the three. Brought down at the 28. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. When you check out the drive results, Dan, you can see that they've had to resort to field goals a few more times than they would have liked. You have to take advantage of the opportunities and punch it in. Taylor got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Oilers offense takes the field and they will start at their own 28 yard line. Number 28 goes in motion. Number 25 punches this one left of center and chews up about four on the play. Holmes had to leave the field earlier in the game, and now Susie Kalber has a report. Susie? Thank you, Dan. I got in touch with the team doctor, and apparently he's suffering from a pulled bicep. He's currently getting iced down on the sideline here, and unfortunately, seems to be in substantial pain. His return is questionable. Back to you. Thanks, Susie. Number 25 gets the call on second down and heads out right. Tackled at the 39. It will be first down. Dan, watch this play unfold. These guys are so talented. It's really just amazing to sit back and watch them take care of business. Oh, and I'll tell you what, he takes care of business throughout this play. Makes me want to hit the gym again and maybe, you know, get back down there on the field. Number 25, kicks it across the line of scrimmage and maybe picks up one on the play. Number 25, used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second down with the tight end right. Hopkins didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Number 12, he brought ball to a receiver who had two guys on him. He's probably fortunate it was just an incomplete pass at that point. Peter, he can't buy a completion here. I tell you, his past five balls have been all for naught. Yeah, you got to focus out there. Number 
Number 12. Zips it to the left sideline, and it is not reeled in. Incomplete. Number 21. We're shadowing very closely. Close enough that the pass was incomplete. The defense forces fourth down, and even if they had completed the pass... It still would have been short. Yes. You have to run those routes farther in that situation. Number 43 lines up for the punt. Number 43 gets the snap and punts it away. Long heals the punt at the 23. Stopped at the 26. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. What day is it? What day is it? How many fingers am I holding up? Come on. Okay, okay. Let's take him off. Let's take him off. Let's get him out of here. Come on. The Packers offense comes out and has an opportunity to tie it before halftime. They'll start at their own 26 yard line. Number 15 just rifles this one, and the ball is caught for a gain of seven on the play. Number 85 was shaken up earlier, and I, I hear Susie Culber has a report for us. Susie? Thanks, Dan. I just talked to the trainers, and they said that he tore his bicep. They're racing the injury in an effort to ease the pain, but it doesn't seem to be that effective. The official word on his return, doubtful. Dan? Thanks, Susie. Williams takes it for his eighth carry and picks up a couple. Williams just hasn't gotten into a groove and isn't finding running room anywhere. This has been tough and he struggled to get 11 yards on eight carries. Third down and less than a yard. Number 86 goes in motion. Williams gains three yards and they convert the third down. Williams played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. A nice play, and with only a short distance to the first, they put it together and make it happen. Yeah, third and short always looks easy, but it's not, Dan. That's good execution. Williams will get the carry on first down and will lose about a yard here. Webster targeted the ball carrier early didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his third tackle of the game. Second down with a split backfield. <laughs> Number 15. Life is this one hard over the middle. And it's intercepted. Drag down at the 41. Number 33 does a nice job picking off the pass there. He's got it, and he gets a little more with that nice little run back. Well, that's their second interception of the game, and uh, Stingy is appearing to be the model for their defense. Yeah, either that or give me the ball. The Oilers are looking for some separation before half, and will start this drive at the 41-yard line. one and forces the incompletion. Number 12 has had a number of pass attempts and we've seen that his guys are out there running their routes and trying to make plays. He would like to do a little bit more however. So far he's got 125 yards and one touchdown. Second down, Second two wideouts on the field. <laughs> Number 12 throws a heater right sideline and it's intercepted. Tackled at the 40. And this is a nice interception. Check his position out to make the grab. 
Got it. Peter, you couldn't ask for more from him today. He has done his part. And then some. So far, he's got two interceptions. The Packers' offense takes the field, and their running game has yet to get on track. We'll see if it happens here as they start at their 40-yard line. Their first time out. First down, first three wideouts in the game. Ball 35. Number 15 throws a bullet to the flat and it's off. Incomplete. Number 84. Had some room on the fringes there, but couldn't reel in the pass. Those mid-range passes are not working out for them so far. Peter, what's different in that range? Well, the coverage and their reaction time. The D is beating them to the punch right here. Slides up. The Packers will take a timeout. That's their second. Third down, one man back. <laughs> Tackled, and the clock will continue to run. Floyd with the tackle. That will bring up fourth down. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. The 44-yard attempt, and it's good! Chandler sends it whizzing between the goal posts for a field goal straight down the pike. The field goal will give them a little momentum going into the half. Absolutely. It's all tied up, and essentially, we're back at 0-0 to start the second half. There's the signal, and we're ready. Chandler booms a beauty here. Taylor decides to take it out of the end zone. Stopped at the 25. Taylor got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Oilers offense takes the field with the clock at 9. clock will continue to run. So that'll bring the first That's half the of football to a close as the clubs head to the locker room all time. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? Okay, Dana, we'll get back to you guys in a moment. Welcome, everybody. ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. The Oilers, therefore, find themselves in a tight ball game. Anything can happen in the second half. An exciting start to this one right on the first play from scrimmage. Number 26 was in the right place at the right time, as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. Oilers still early in the first. The ball at the 49-yard line. Number 89 came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. A 48-yard touchdown for the Oilers. The Packers answering right back. Packers losing by seven. Number 86 is going to run a great route here. Have a look as it creates some space and is able to bring this in. They climb back into the game, now down by four. Oilers midway through the first. Number 12 would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. Oilers winning seven to three. Number 12 would find his target on this one. That set up a 34-yard field goal. The Packers midway through the second. Number 43 shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. 
Oilers still midway through the second. Oilers up by seven. Number 67 would be called upon for the field goal try, and he'd come through. They move ahead by 10. The Packers middle of the second, number 86, was definitely a key as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. A 75-yard touchdown for the Packers. Packers losing 13 to 10. Number 33 is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. Oilers still late in the half. Ball at the 42. Number 26 would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The Packers, after getting an interception, Packers trailing by three. Number 34 comes on for the field goal try. Good spot. This is right through the upright. And that's where we'll leave this one. Oilers are keeping it evened up. We're tied 13 all. It's time now for our Halftime Hero Award, which recognizes the most dominant player of the first half. Duh. This time, there could be no question. Number 86 has played outstanding. So that does it for our halftime report. We'll send you back now to the second half of this one. Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe are there. Gentlemen. Thanks, Boomer, and welcome back to our broadcast presented in ESPN Game Sound. Designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Packers get the ball first to start the second half, Number and they will have a chance to break the, the deadlock. It's all tied up here. Let's get down to the field and the action. Six. Not out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Packers bring their offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 23-yard line. Brown goes in motion. Williams gets the handoff and passes the line. Right down at the 24. Love was shaken up earlier, and I, I hear Susie Culber has a report for us. Susie? Thank you, Dan. The team doctor's diagnosis is that he suffered a concussion. They told me that given the gravity of this injury, there's obviously no way he'll be allowed to return to the game. Dan, back to you. As always, we'll hope for the best up here in the booth. Thank you, Susie. Number 15 unloads this to the right sideline, and it's tipped incomplete. Number 51 swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that. They have really gotten after the ball as a team today. That is their fifth batted ball. Nice, aggressive beat. the football was him. You know, as a team, they are batting down passes left and right. That is their sixth so far. Wow, great anticipation of the pass. Anderson lines up to punt after the three and out. Anderson takes the long snap and pummels this one deep. Taylor fields the deep punt at the 27. Tackles at the 44. Taylor didn't get phased by that mammoth punt. He read the field, Dan, and managed to minimize it with a solid run back. The Oilers send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their 44-yard line. Number 28 goes in motion. Number 25 will get stopped at the line, and that brings up second down. With 25, use the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. He's not made much headway up the middle, although it's not for lack of trying, and that's for sure. They can't get effective blocking there. They've got to go elsewhere. Number 25 gets the ball again and heads upfield. Dragged down at 
the 49. Third down, tight end to the left. Some flash to that play with a nice little move after the catch. Good work to get more yards. Nice display of agility there. He put the right amount of moves on the D. Great matchup. And the offense won that one. Number 25 gains eight yards, and that brings up second down. 25 played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into second a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Number 25 will get the carry on second down, and heads wide wide. Tackle at the 16. That will bring up first down. Impressive yards on the ground here. Check it out. Boy, that's some nice running. It's all about field vision. And if you can see where you have room to roam, good things happen. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. First down, 10 yards to go. Number 28 goes in motion. Bring up second down. Second and six. Ball 13. Number 25 dodges this one way out right and gains about three yards. Number 24 with the tackle. We stop him right here. Third and right three. Ball of ten yards. Yeah. Yeah. Number twelve really rifles this pass, and it's tipped yeah. incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Brown came in and got a hand on that football, and left no chance for a reception there. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball you know, of the game. Yeah, great read. Fourth down, and the field goal Number unit 50. is on the field. Number 67 from 27 yards out, and they take the lead. Number 67 puts in an easy short one. A clean kick, no worries. That's his third field goal of the day, and giving your team nine points is nothing to sneeze at. Well, unless those nine points are covered by Pollen. Watch it. Sorry, that makes no sense. All right. Sorry. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number 67 blockets this one deep. Number 86 downs this in the end zone for a touchback. Hey, I like those stats. Great receiving yards. Number 80 takes him down and back to the 19. Number 80 targeted the ball carrier early. Didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They had it all locked up. There. That will bring up second down. Second down with the tight end right. Tackle at the 22. Will bring up fourth down. 
number 43. Came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Another batted ball. And they have been attacking the pass every chance they get. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it? Anderson gets ready to punt this away. Anderson gets the ball and punts it away. Taylor gets it at the 36. Right down at the 40. Taylor didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Oilers will start this first play of the drive at their 40-yard line. Picks up about two, and that brings up second down. Second and seven. Ball at the Oilers, 42-yard line. Number 12 unloads this one to the left, and it is not real in, incomplete. Number 26 was with the receiver all the way back there on that deep corner route and interrupted the pass. Incomplete. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Number 21 shows why you think twice before throwing a pass in his neighborhood. Watch. Great presence of mind to try for the football there. That's their third interception of the game. And Peter, the D is homing in on the passing game. Yeah, tough play. I love it. The Packers offense takes the field and they are already halfway there. They'll start at their 48-yard line. Number 84 goes in motion. Number 15 fires this one over the middle, and the ball is caught for a gain of seven on the play. Number 15 threaded the ball back there to his man right past all that traffic. Good job. That's the third time today he's hit a receiver way downfield. Well, his arm didn't come cheap for this team, so they might as well get their money's worth. Picks up six on the play, and that will bring up first down. First down, First, down. Pack, pack. First, First and ten. ten. Ball on 39. Down. Number 15 throws a beauty to the right side, and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. Wow, this was a really nice play, Dan, and it worked out from so many angles. But the main thing I love is all the little details. Oh, this is the stuff our camera crew is so good at capturing every week. Great job, guys. Second down with two tight ends to the right. Ball 39. the 31. Damn, this is a nice interception. Check his position out to make the grab. Got it. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like that. The Oilers are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 31-yard line. Number 12 uncorks this to the left sideline, and it's tipped incomplete. Number 21 with the deflection. Number 12 has found limited success in the passing game so far, Dan, and he just can't seem to get into a rhythm out there. I'd say he's not very pleased with his performance. 
So far, he's got 142 yards and three interceptions. Check air, check air. Second, Second and 10. Ball of the 31 yard line. It's intercepted. Stop at the 33. Brown does a nice job picking off the pass there. He's got it, and he gets a little more with that nice little run back. Yet another interception for this defense, and they're making passing just about impossible so far. Absolutely. Great reads, great jumps on the ball, great athletes. It's all happening down there. The Packers haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at the 33-yard line. On the 51, it's Axel Ray at the 39. One guy short on the line, but it turns out they don't need him. Three is plenty to get the job done. Check it out. Ouch. Oh, they got through anyway. That is determination. The defensive design worked flawlessly, and the refs will spot the ball well behind the original line of scrimmage. What a way to derail a series from the onset. Second and long ahead. Number 84 goes in motion. Number 29. The receiver and forces him to drop the ball incomplete. Let's go, defense. Let's make a stand. Number 15 throws a bullet here, and they get the first on third and long. Number 86 reels in the catch despite being covered by two defenders. Dan, I guess he just can't be intimidated. Check this out. Oh, yeah, it's all about being focused. He had his eye on the ball the whole time, and he knew where he had to be. He snagged three passes in the deep end today and has definitely made his presence known. He definitely owns the deed on field. Number 86 takes the catch out to the left and tries to get free. Brought down at the three. Well, those are some impressive numbers. Look at those receiving yards. Picks up the first down. And that'll do it for the third the quarter. The, the Oilers quarter. with a small lead, 16 to 13. Well, watch the pass here, Dan. Good vision to pick up those critical few yards. That gives him his second touchdown of the day. Dan, he's definitely making his presence felt out there as well as on the scoreboard. Come on, D, let's block this extra point. Now the point after, yeah, and point good. it's good. the signal and we're set Chandler booms a beauty here Taylor decides to take it out of the end zone tackled at the 18 
Taylor got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Oilers offense comes out and finds themselves losing for the first time in the game. This drive will start at their own 18-yard line. Number 26 goes in motion. Number 12 zips it to the left sideline and it's tipped incomplete. Peter, unfortunately, we've had some players banged up so far. Unfortunately so. Well, there they are. Today's injuries and both teams have lost some players. This is where the bench needs to step up and do their job. Number 21 swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. He records yet another batted ball, and I'll tell you, he's really playing well out there. Yeah, he's been after the ball from the beginning of the game. Real aggressive play. Second down, two wideouts on the field. Number 21 makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Number 21 managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. Another batted ball, and they have been attacking the pass every chance they get. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it? Number 12 throws a bullet and it's caught at the 33. Brought down hard at the 37. First down. him from the ball. Incomplete. Number 21. Number 21. Wasn't going to let this one slip by. He had his man covered to the T. That's great coverage. Let's check it out. And the pass is incomplete. Next time, the quarterback won't be so lucky. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Second down. Just a single receiver on the field. Hopkins goes in motion. Number 12, clears this one over the middle and it's caught for a gain of 10 on the play. Number 88 plays man to man to man to man with three defenders, still makes the catch. What a player. That is only his first catch of the game, believe it or not, and it took all the way into the fourth quarter to get it. Pretty unusual to not call his name for this long. It is, and he's surprised it took this long as well. He loves to see the ball coming his way. Number 25 has his number called on third down. And it's well past the markers for a first. Number 25 has been taken to both outside and inside the tackle, but he is not letting him get too free. So far, he's had to work hard to get 71 yards on 21 carries. in behind the line of scrimmage. Number 60 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. He's been working hard so far. That's his eighth tackle. And each one of those eight left a bruise. That guy can hit. Second down coming up on the 10th play of the drive. No dice and it falls incomplete. Number 28, looked like he was all over that one, but it just got away somehow. Tough incompletion. Another incompletion out left, and it appears that side of the field has not been kind to them at all. Not at all. they, they got to go somewhere else, look for a different matchup. Number 12, throws a bullet to the flat, and it falls incomplete. Number 25, set up for the screen back there. He had blockers ready, but... I forgot to catch the ball. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, is it really hurts. Number, number 43, it's ready to punt this away. Number 86, to make the return. 
Number 43 gets the ball and punts it away. Number 86 fields the punt at the 11. Tackled at the 16. Number 86 got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Packers will start a drive with the lead for the first time in this game. They'll begin at their own 16-yard line. Number 15 throws a bullet to the flat, and the catch is made at the 14. Runs out at the 20. Wilson was wide open on that play, man. Makes you wonder what the D was doing. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second and five. Number 84 goes in motion. Williams picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up third down. Wow, look at those tackles. That's how you play sideline to sideline. Number 15 unloads this one to the left, and it's complete at the 45. Finally dropped at the 37. It will be first down. First down, one man down. Ball 37. Williams will get stopped at the line, and that will bring up second down. Second and nine. Ball 37. Number 86 goes in motion. Number 15 zings it to the right side, and it's good for a gain of eight. Number 15, had no trouble seeing that one past the secondary. That was one heck of a throw. Yet again, he airs it out and finds his man. He's putting up some incredible numbers today, Peter. Yeah, man. If you're not at least 10 yards away from him, it's like he doesn't even see it. Williams takes it for his 17th carry and is dropped short of the marker. That will bring up fourth down. Parker made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. That's his second tackle so far. Fourth down, one yard to go. Chandler boots it from 46 yards out, and it's through the uprights. All right, that's how we do it. That's how we do it. Number 12 handled this high snap perfectly. Sets up the ball. There's the kick, and it's good. Three points. That field goal makes him three for three out there. Hasn't missed one yet. And you can't coach that. Number 34. Kicking off the There's the signal, and we're ready. Chandler kicks it off. Taylor fields the kickoff at the eight. Bang down at the 30. Taylor was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Oilers offense takes the field with time winding down. They'll start at their own 30-yard line. Number 12 zips it to the left sideline, and they can't connect. Incomplete. Second down with the tight end, right. Number 26 goes in motion. Number 89. And he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Number 
12. Doesn't leave much room for error on this one. It's either a great pass and completion or an interception. Let's take a look. Well, that's a great catch and a great completion. You don't see many quarterbacks thrown into double coverage like that and succeed. And Peter, we've talked before about what kind of an impact a big receiver can have on a football game. That's right, Dan. A lot of people still associate receivers with speed. And right here, height was what did it. As you can see, he's up over the century mark. Oh, he came to play today. Number 25 will get the carry on first down and picks up a couple. What's the counter? What's the counter? Second, Second and seven. seven. Ball on 46 yards. Yeah. Go back, go back. Yeah. Number, three, Number 25 will take the handoff and will end up losing a couple. Robinson was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. Nice job eliminating any forward progress on that play. That will bring up a third and long. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Number 12 really rifles this pass, and it's tipped incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Brown came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That's his third batted ball, and he is doing his part, that is for sure. Nice to see aggressive D like that, Dan. Number 43 lines up for the punt. Number 43 takes the snap and punts it away. Moore gets it off the bounce at the 13. He's touched down, but he will Fair keep the drive alive. Number First down at the Offense. 12. 15 yard, 15 -yard penalty from the spot of the foul. foul. Number 23 First made contact on that play after a fair catch signal was clearly made, so he got the call for interference. He just can't do that. First the Packers three, will start three, this drive at their own 29 yard line. Williams picks up about two, and that brings up second down. Second down. The clock is stopped at two minutes. Wilson goes in motion. to the right. Williams, the Oilers will take a timeout. That's their second. in motion. Williams gets the shoot and runs into traffic. The Oilers take a timeout. That's their final one. Second down and they line up with three tight ends. will continue to run. That brings up third down, and it also will take another chunk of time off the clock. They'll take their sweet time getting this playoff, Dan. There's no reason for them to hurry the snap. Still running. Fourth down coming up. 
Well, Dan, they didn't get the first, but they did manage to stay in bounds. Looks like they're playing the time game, and they just won another 40 seconds. Anderson lines up for the punt. Anderson takes the long snap and punts it away. Taylor feels it at the 10. The ball's loose. He's touched down, but he will keep the drive alive. First down at the 15. That will bring up first down. Number 55 didn't panic when the ball got loose, and that was why he was able to reel it back in the boat. That's all, folks. They can now run out the clock. What a performance. And that is going to do it for this one. The Packers come out on top 23 to 16. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. That's right, fellas. That's right, fellas. We got it. Okay, Dan, thank you very much. And let's welcome all of you back to the studio. I'm Chris Berman here to bring you our ESPN video games post-game wrap-up. The Packers stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Number 28 ran a terrific route here and was able to pull this one in. That set up a 28-yard field goal. Ball at their own 41-yard line. Number 21 is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. The Packers, after getting an interception, Packers behind by three. Number 20 would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The Oilers have it off an interception. Number 40 is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. Oilers up 16 to 13. Number 15 connected with his man on this one. A 29-yard play that set up a Packer touchdown. The Packers are in front for the first time. They're now up by four. Number 12 connected with his man on this one. Packers winning by four. Number 15 is back to throw, and when he gets an opportunity to step up, these are the kind of throws he makes. This was a big one. Number 12 would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. And that's where we'll leave this one. Packers edge out a win, 23 to 16. Now let's check in with our player of the game. A guy who made one big time catch after another to help seal the win for his team. Number 86 was kind enough to give us a moment of his time. He's on the field with Susie Collins. Susie? Thank you, Chris. You excelled under pressure today, and you edged them out in a hard-fought game. What was the key to your success? You know what it is? You know what our D does? We just play hard. I think our D-line did a good job of controlling the line of scrimmage and pressuring the quarterback, and that helped us dominate on the defensive end. Back to you, Chris. That winds up our broadcast of the NFL preseason on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports for 25 years and counting. I'm Chris Berman. Thanks for joining us.